Hi, this is Wendy Pineda with LAUSD Investigation TV, and as of today, I take a strong stand to advise parents about what goes inside Walter Reed Middle School. Uh, parents, I tried to prove my case after being against the policy uh, about the culmination uh, factors that have to be taken into consideration with the children to be part of the culmination ceremony. I uncover talking to parents a lot of issues about Walter Reed Middle School when it comes down to communication and how some kids got tutoring, some other kids didn't get tutoring, how the staff cannot be trusted and a series of issues that quite frankly Mr. Manuel Diaz from local district number two in charge of that school really takes too lightly. I got off the phone with him today about his decision about my daughter not being able to graduate in combination and the main factor was that did I get notifications and all of a sudden he tells me that uh, all the letters were sent to me well first of all I never received them and second of all he was telling me that he confirmed the, the address where um, where the letters were sent with the emergency card and it was just I was done by then this is what happened I rented a P.O. box which is my mailing address which I have the right to have that and I stopped receiving mailing at my physical address even though I told him that I spoke to Ms. Orozco about this issue because I was having a lot of problems with my mailman here at home I needed to get a more reliable place where I could receive packages where I could feel comfortable of not getting junk mail and I notified the school. Now he said that he did his investigation and didn't find any notification that I was supposed to do in writing and I'm thinking wow and this is what I told him. So you're telling me that what your staff which Ms. Rosie Orozco told me oh let's check the address she got on the computer she inputted the address she made sure that that was the address and now all of a sudden I can't prove anything because I trusted a staff of Walter Reed Middle School. I'm supposed to, sta to trust the staff. And when it came down to problems, the LAUSD, Manuel Diaz, did not acknowledge this as part of the decision making. And, and my entire problem is, look, it's not about my daughter anymore. It's about that I am sick and tired about how Walter Reed covers every single thing that they do wrong and nobody does anything about it. It's hundreds of kids that are going to continue to go to that school and that's what really worries me. You know, whatever happened with my daughter is giving me the experience to talk to you as a parent and to tell you do not trust Walter Reed Middle School. The kids are being yelled at, are being harassed because of the teachers are not doing the job. I mean, it's so many issues. Some kids get to tutoring. Some other kids don't. Um, so the, the the staff, one person says one thing, the other person tells another. They tell one parent one thing, they tell another parent another. I don't know how they're basing their decisions, but this has to stop. It really has to stop. It's it's, and I'm going to continue to investigate and with follow up with. With teach, not with teachers, but with parents to see what the situations are because there's a lot of things that have to be uncovered at Walter Reed Middle School. And if this is the only way that the LAUSD will listen to me, then this is what I'm going to continue to do. I'm going to continue to shoot videos, to inform you as a parent, to be careful. So this is my first advice. If you ever need to change your address at Walter Reed Middle School, do not trust the staff do it in writing so then you have proof anything that you speak to the teachers that you speak with the the the, the principal don't speak to these people send them in emails and get it in writing parents because you don't know what can happen 